I'm back. So, hold on, I forgot to do this. Uh, LS, code, merge up. Let's make this big. And, okay. So in the last video, we finished out our, I don't actually like it on that side, hold on. We, okay, so in the last video, we finished out our server. Um, so all of this directory, so now we're going to finally create our client side. Um, make sure we have mongods running. There we go. And just to test out the server really quick. Code, oops, no, not that. CD server uh, npm start. Do, 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 do. Okay, the server is running. API slash polls. Huh. All right. So in the last video, we actually have all this redundant data that we were using to test our API. Um, what I'm going to do right now is show this file, the seed file. And we're going to run it really quick. Um, let me uncomment all of this out. Do, do, on comments. And to run this file, um, you could do a node c.js. But what I've done was added a, a seed script in the package JSON. So you can just simply do an npm run seed. And with that, well, that's a lot of stuff. But doing that created all of this test data or dummy data that we're going to be using for our front end. So we have two users, um, three polls. The first one is JavaScript framework. The second one is just an X-Men thing. And then two really small um, things. Polls, I mean. All right. So quickly, let's run through how the seed works. So the, there's a async function. So async await happening. Um, nothing too scary here. We have the normal try catch block. And then first we're deleting all the data in our database. So all the users are removed and all of the polls are being removed. And then in here, um, we're using a promise.all and we're awaiting it. And what promise.all basically is is that we're going to feed it an array of all of the data and we're going to individually handle all of them at the same time. So this is this users is um, this variable here which holds both of our users. And we're inside of it we're simply running um, a user.create for each user. And in here, we have the created user. And right now, we're just uh, console logging to the console so that we can see what what has been created. And then this one is also um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the same idea except with polls, but for polls, we need a user to create it. So we're just um, feeding it. We're doing a database.find for the username that we just inserted and then we're adding that into the polls. So after this file runs, um, npm start, this endpoint's going to be populated with all the new data that we put in and it'll also get rid of all this test data that we needed for debugging. So we do a send and as you can see, everything's different, as well as all the users. The, the user field is created, because if you remember our, in our previous example, we actually were missing the users. So 
every so we have four polls here with uh, all created by the user with the name username okay so actually I'm gonna leave that up okay so we're with that out of the way we're gonna create react for our client um, we got a CD dot dot and then let's see uh, create react app clients and that'll create our react project as well as installing all of the dependencies included with it um, oh and I also forgot to mention uh, you should install create react app globally just so you could run that command so the create react app command um, to get that <clears throat> installed, uh, you just do an npm install dash g for global and then just run the command. Okay. And here's our React um, project. So if we go into the client directory and we do a npm start here. Doo -doo -doo. Our React app is going to open, and there it is. It'll also have auto reload, just like Nodemon, but it's actually using Webpack behind the scenes. So any changes um, will automatically uh, be changed on the f on on our browser. So I added the X here, and there's our new change. And I didn't have to refresh the browser or anything. Okay, so let's do a little bit of cleanup. <clears throat> um, let's remove source. Let's do app dot star. So everything that starts with app, we're gonna get rid of. And we're also gonna get rid of the logo. Um, so rm source logo dot svg and let's create a directory source components um and create a component we'll just gonna call app .jsx. so there's our app component um so <coughs> let's just do a quick React component really not. Uh, React run React const app div div and don't worry about this quite yet. Um, I'll go over this when we get more in depth into the client tutorial. Right now we're just doing some setup, um, and then in our entry file index.js, this app is now pointed to components slash app. Uh, index CSS is still there, so that's good. Do, 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 do. All right, so if we do a npm start again. It should reflect our changes. Uh, this this is basically the new component that we replaced with our app component. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of cleanup. Um, <clears throat> I prefer to destructure a render from React DOM instead of calling the entire React DOM library. And let's see, do 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 index components. And <clears throat> for all my React components, I use the JSX extension. Um, that's also optional, but I, I prefer it this way. I think it's cleaner and it helps me see which files, which JavaScript files are the actual React components. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> so that is the basic setup of our React project. 
we have to do a l couple of extra stuff to connect this to the other or to our server. So we're actually gonna set a proxy. Proxy <coughs> to the oops. JSON uses double quotes. We're gonna set a set a proxy to our server, which is gonna live at HTTP colon slash slash localhost and then whatever port that we specified which let me check really quick it is port 4000 okay 4000 <clears throat> and all this does means that every time we send a request it'll automatically go to the <clears throat> this URL and then we don't have to specify anything except for all the the path variables after the URL. Okay, um, let's make sure I have cores installed. Good. Okay. And, yep, that's the basics of it. Um, you'll also notice that we're going to be starting two servers at once. And it might be a little annoying to always change directory into and out of because the the command to start these servers live inside of these directories. So we're actually going to just create a simple bash script to start both servers at the same time. So let's make sure I'm at the root. Okay, touch. Uh, start. And this is going to be a bash script that you can run in your terminal. So it's going to be a cd um, server and uh, npm start and cd client and npm. Uh, it's also a start. OK. Clear this. Uh, to run this script, we also need to give it permission. So chmod plus x, and then the name of the file. And now we can run it as a binary file. So it's just going to be dot slash start the start script. And that'll run both servers at once. So you see the React servers running. And then the server, our API server, is also running. So we can go to any of these other routes. So that. And that works. And our React side also works. So there we go. So we have the client server set up. We have the proxy set up. And we also have a convenient little start script to run both servers at the same time. Clear. So let's just do a little commit right now. Git add everything. Git commit message of setup react, which is a lot of stuff. And uh, git push origin master which I believe this isn't linked to GitHub or anything. But we need to do a git push. Um, the first term is the remote repository that you're holding it into. So this will be GitHub, or origin will be GitHub, or GitLab, or Bitbucket, whichever host you use. And then master is this current branch. Um, the yeah, it's just the master branch. Um, since I don't have this hosted anywhere currently, I'm not going to run that command. But, yep, there we go. In the next video, we're going to actually get more into React. Um, I think we're actually going to set up Redux first. That'll, I think that'll make things a lot easier. But, yep. Yeah.